Hello, this is Canyon Podcast Preacher. Welcome back to my podcast, Deep Waters. This podcast is brought to you by Applied Strengths Ministry, where we believe working together in our strengths is the effect of working out the will and calling of God in and through our lives. The title of this message is God's Math. How many of us ask for more of God, not realizing that if He responds, then it will mean less of us? I'm not a mathematician, but but what can you expect when God wakes you up at 1.45 a.m. with a head full of messages? This one is a shorty, and for good reason. Math problems shouldn't be that long. So if we see our life like a glass, and we look at it before we are born again, it is 100% full of me, myself, and I. And so, but when we get authentically born again and pass from this life to the other, that is the selfish life to the serving life, and head past the tree of justification and go down the path called sanctification, we, or rather he, begins to remove the me, myself, and I contents from our glass and replace it with himself, with the Holy Spirit, thus equipping us for the works of Jesus Christ. Yep, it's a subtraction and addition problem. The great exchange. You see, we are dead to this world and alive in Christ, spiritually speaking, but not all at once in our natural bodies. Nope, the path of sanctification ensures that the exchange of contents in our glass is done at a rate of speed that we can handle. And yes, spiritually speaking, it is a finished work but it still has to be worked out in our natural selves. The Bible states to put on the new man, so, but we are still a man, right? Put off the old man and the appetites thereof. Sanctification removes the old man appetites and gives room for God to give us his appetites. Yes, the process is that eventually we would have no more of me, myself, and I in our glass and that we would truly be dead to ourselves, crucified in Christ and alive in and through him. Our immediate goal is that we would hear God and do nothing but the works of Jesus. So we have solved a historically wrongfully hypothesized theory that the glass is always half full or half empty. I would say, biblically speaking, it is either full of the old man or the new man works, period. Ephesians 4, 17, 24. This I say, therefore, and testify in the Lord, that you should no longer walk as the rest of the Gentiles walk, in the futility of their mind, having their understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them, because of the blindness of their heart, who, being past feeling, have given themselves over to lewdness, to work all uncleanness with greediness. But you have not so learned Christ, if indeed you have heard him and have been taught by him, as the truth is in Jesus, that you put off concerning your former conduct, the old man, which grows corrupt, according to the deceitful lusts, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that you put on the new man, which was created according to God in true righteousness and holiness. Be blessed and mathematically focused today. Well, that's it for today. Remember, it's not what you find wrong or disagree with regarding these messages, but what you can take away from it. Together, we can do more to impact the kingdom than if we work alone. Let's flip the script and the kill, steal, and destroy the works of the enemy and create space for the light of life to shine through into people's lives. Find a seat and click on the like and subscribe button. Let's build this ministry together. Thanks and see you next time in deep waters.